Hello world, welcome to my channel. I am Sahil and I have already started a new video tutorial series on learning Vue.js from beginners level to advanced level. If you are new to this video then go to the description box there you will get full playlist link of this series. Watch from the beginning for better learning and understanding. Now this is the fourth video of the series. In previous video you have already seen about events and methods now in this video i am going to show you how to work with vue.js conditional and loop directives okay so there are total four conditional directives in vue.js and one loop directive okay so we will see one by one so this is our index.html so i have the basic setup for vue.js and uh, this is the main.js file in this file i have already created a view instance and inside this view instance there is a property l property which is controlling our dom this is our root element div with id app now using this id and through this element property we are controlling the dom and we have a data property okay so first we will see these two directives v dash if and v dash else okay so let's come back to the index.html and here just create a div and inside this div i will first create a h1 tag and here i am writing something like if block or anything you want to display now here i am just writing v dash if directive and in quotation double quotation marks uh, we have to write the condition like true false or any condition you want to write here or any expression so let's write true and uh, go to the browser refresh so you can see the if block is uh, showing here because the condition is true now if we write here false then refresh this then you can the uh, you can see that the message is not visible okay so let's create one more h1 tag here and write else block and here write v dot v dash else directive now in this in these two lines only one condition is checking uh, in the first h1 tag if the if this condition is true then this if block will display and if this is false then this else block will display okay so this is false now let's see so you can see the else block is displaying because this v dash if uh, has a false condition that's why this else block is displaying okay now here we can also write some data property and we can define this data property inside the data property scene true okay now this scene data property contains a value true and this is a acts like a condi uh, condition and we have passed the scene data property inside this double quotation mark of v dash if directive so let's see so here you can see if block is displaying okay now if you want to check multiple condition then we have to use this v dash else dash if directive okay so for this let's write a block here and uh, here you can just check write scene equal equal a okay now just duplicate this b and write b here also duplicate c c duplicate d and d okay and this is the else v dash else block 
and we have to write here also sorry else b dash else if now there are total uh, four conditions and one else block okay so let's go to the main.js and here also let's initialize the scene data property with value a now go to the browser and refresh here you can see the a block is displaying if i change here to b then here you can see p block is displaying c c block and d d block and if i write something different than a b c d then what happened let's see suppose i, uh, I write here f then go to the browser then you can see the else block is executed okay so uh, here i am just just creating a input field type text and here i am using v dash model directive now this is a two-way data binding uh, model directive of Vue.js so we will uh, also discuss it with this directive in uh, upcoming videos so for now let's pass scene here and let's see what happens so here you can see this is a text box containing value a if I delete this then there is no value here so the else block is executed now if I write B then the B block is displaying if I write C then C block D then D block okay and if I if I write any value then you can see this is showing else block okay now let's see this V dash so conditional directive okay so for this just create a another div and inside this div get one more div div and here let's create a heading um, welcome to wolfmania and here h4 uh, h5 write something now in this div i am just writing v dash if a statement first and let's see what happens and here i pass a data property uh, object like uh, data toggle okay now just copy this and go to the main.js here just give a value true okay now the condition is true so this will will have to be visible on the page so let's go to the page and refresh so here you can see the message uh, is displaying because the condition is true if i write false here and let's refresh then the message is not displaying okay so let's initialize with true sorry true now message displaying now go to the index.html and here i'm just creating a button mm, like yes button and here i will write so hide so hide okay and here i will create v dash on colon click so this is a event handler directives so we have already seen in the previous video so here i am just passing this data toggle data property object and here i am just assigning not equal to not data data toggle okay now if i refresh this and click this button then what will happen it hides and when i click again then it will show the message so it acts like a toggle button okay 
here you can see now if we inspect element and uh, in this div we have created a button and a div with h uh, h3 tag and h h5 tag so when i clicking this so and hide button then you can see the element div is remove removed from the elements okay and if we click again then the element is again uh, rendered in the um, dome okay but uh, in the case of v dash so let's write v dash so v dash so and v dash if is uh, is the same functionality whatever the v dash if uh, does the same v dash so will do okay but the difference is what i have just show you i will just show you so here just refresh and uh, click on this button then you can see the message is now hides and the message is again so and this is same uh, working like uh, previous when we have written here v dash if but what's the difference between both so here now you can see in the element uh, this is our div okay this is h3 and this is h5 tag so in case of v dash if the element is removed from the uh, removed from the dome and in case of v dash so the element is not removed instead it's just uh, just creates a css property display display none okay and when we again click on that button then the display dot none property has removed only okay so this is the difference between v dash so and v dash if okay now let's now let's see the loop directive b4 okay so for this i am just going to the main.js and here i am just creating a list or you can say array so here i am just creating datas and you can create list like this okay now here just write the names so harry potter harry potter and uh, ron ron weasley hermione granger luna lockwood you can write as you want okay now in index.html let's create a div another div and uh, here i'm just uh, creating h2 tag and inside this i am using ol tag and then li tag okay now here in li i will use v dash for directive and in double quotation mark we have to write uh, like name name no, sorry data in datas okay so we have just assigned a variable and we are checking the data in data so here we have already defined the data uh, in data data property okay so here just use the string interpolation method and here write data okay now save this go to the browser refresh so here you can see all the names are showing in the page in list format okay you can also use here ul sorry ul okay ul tag and it will render in the dome
if you want to display the index number also so for this just keep this in bracket and here write index index now if you want to show the index also so here again right index here so the index is showing this con this name is on index 0 this is on 1 2 3 okay so i'm not displaying the index but go to the main.js and here just select all the sorry i am writing another things inside this array so for this i am just keeping these values inside curly braces and here i am writing name sorry these are names so i am writing in name and uh, we can uh, write any other prop um, any other things like uh, age so write age and write the age so 25 22 20 and 24 okay save this go to the index.html now how to call these if i want to show only name and let's suppose you can see this type of showing but if i want to show only name so for this here we have to write data dot name because we have defined here name and age so we only want to show the name so we have to write data dot name and refresh so here you can see the name only okay and if you want to show only the age so here you have to write the age then only age will be displayed but if you want both then here write name data dot name your age each and here string interpolation sign and here you have to write data dot age okay save this go to the browser so here you can see harry potter your age is 25 and like this okay so this is conditional directives and loop directives of vue.js in next video we will see others topic of vue.js so for now thanks for watching this video if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel